Hi everyone. I I think we're live. I'm not sure. I'm getting like a blinking signal. So I'm not sure what that means. Is that new? <laughs> I hope we're live. Um maybe if mm, I hope we're live. I don't know. All right. I see somebody jumping on. Um hi everyone. So I hope, I hope we're live. The blinking live signal is new for me. It's kind of throwing me off. Um, so I think we're just going to continue and hope that this is all good. Okay. Um, so welcome, you guys. It's Sunday morning. It's early. I actually prefer to craft early. I'm more of an early bird than a night owl. So I actually prefer to craft early. So, um, but with this whole, you know, distance, hey, Crystal, thanks for commenting. But with this whole, like, distance learning thing, you know, and the kids do their work early, there's just been no crafting time for me early, and that kind of a, hits my mojo. So I feel like my crafting time has really suffered in the last, like, what, I don't know, five years that this has been going on. Um, <laughs> no, it hasn't been that long, like, 40-some days, I think. But, um... So I really prefer to craft early. So I, I want to know, are you guys like early crafters? Are you late crafters? I'm curious. I really prefer to craft early. All right, let's talk about a few things that are going on. I do have links in the comments or in the video description on the comments. In the video description for my um, May card crate, which is going to be fantastic. We are featuring, let me pull it up. I'm featuring this step, stamp set, the beautiful friendship stamp set in my May card crate. And you're going to make 10 cards. Um, it's like a little mini stamp stack in your house. Um, it's two design or two cards each of five different designs. There's five different beautiful, beautiful designs in Mace Card Crate. Plus you get a ton of, you get $20 of, of stuff. And off the top of my head, I cannot, you get, there's a maximum amount of knowledge I can keep in my head at one time. And I don't see my notebook handy for me to grab. So, but there is, let me see if I can look at the cards. I know you're getting, you're getting the metallic pearls. You're getting the clear um, and frosted little gems of some of the white seam binding, um, some note cards. This is a really, 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 it's May's card crate is, is going to be phenomenal. So there's a link to the blog post that I talk about May's card crate and everything. So you can um, click that link. It'll take you to my blog with all the instructions for May's card crate. Um, my other at home class that's going on right now is my Stampin' Blends Club, and all you have to do is place an order with the Stampin' Blends host code, and that is on the blog post. So again, click that link, it'll take you to my blog. It's a minimum $40 order, um, and then you get sent the make and takes for four projects featuring the Stampin' Blends, and that one we're doing the Witty Sism stamp set. I don't have that one in, in reach, right? Pull that out. We're doing the Witty Sism stamp set with that one. Um, and four really, really cute projects with that one. And you'll get a video, a PDF, all explaining all of that. And so if you're interested in either of those classes or both of those classes, click those links in my video description. Okay, let's make the card today, you guys. It is so cute. Look at this. It's a little Z fold card. So it makes a little Z, but isn't it so cute? There's a lot of stamping on this card. So we're actually, we're just going to jump right in. There's a ton of stamping. So we're going to get all the stamping done first, and then we'll assemble it. So... Let's talk about our card supplies. I have a card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at two and one eighth and at four and a quarter. I have a piece of Coastal Cabana, which is four by five and a quarter. A piece of white, which is five by three and three quarters. I have some scrap pieces of white for our stamping. Um, I have a real red circle that I've die cut with the layering circles. I, I don't remember this. I think it may be the third large, just no, I, the third, oh, I don't remember. Um, I'm using the second largest stitch circle. So just find the one that, that matches up with that. Or you can even use a scallop circle. That would be fine too. And then I'm using the second largest um, stitched rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I think that's all my paper stuff. So we are gonna do our stamping. So I'm gonna keep these pieces. I'm going to move these out of the way and we're going to do our stamping. So let's start with, let's start with our red piece. This is real red. So my colors are real red and coastal cabana. And years and years and years ago, 
I don't even know how many years ago, when Coastal Cabana was an in color. Coastal Cabana used to be an in color, and then they brought it back a couple years ago as a core color, which is my favorite, because when Coastal Cabana left, I was heartbroken. That's my absolute favorite color. But um, they had a DSP years and years ago when Coastal Cabana was an in color that was real red and Coastal Cabana. And that color combination has always, always been my favorite. It's so pretty together. Um, I was heartbroken with that DSP too. Okay, I'm going to pull in a little bit of grid paper here because I don't want to... I don't want to get it, anything all messed up. And I do have my pierce, my stamp and pierce mat under here too. If you don't have the stamp and pierce mat, I think it's actually sold out. It was on the retired list. Um, you can use your mat from your stamparatus. Okay, we're gonna create this fun background on our card. Do you guys, you guys see that awesome like tone on tone background? And that oh, you know, let me show you what we're using today. We're using the Dino Days bundle. So we're using the um, the Dino dies and the Dino Day stamp set. This is actually bundled right now in the catalog, but the bundle price is on the retired list. This whole, um, these dies and the stamp set will carry over into the next catalog, but the bundle price won't. So if you love this stamp set, if it's been on your wish list, get it now on that bundle price because you're going to save some money. Okay, we're going to use the tree trunk to make our little pattern back here. Okay, I feel like this is like a hot mess, but we'll get through it. Okay, so I'm going to take my tree trunk, and I have all my grid paper like, so I don't know if you guys saw what I did. So I folded it into a Z-fold. We only want to stamp on this part right here. So I'm actually protecting the inside of my card with a piece of grid paper, and then just so I don't stamp on my mat here, I have another piece of grid paper on that side. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pat off to the side, and I'm just going to start stamping. Oh, man. I think this is right on the edge. I need to pull it down. All right, let's see how well I can line this back up. Oh, boy. Ooh, man, this one might be a little off, but that's okay. We're going to... Oh, I did pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Who would have thought? Oh, I just dipped my finger in the red ink pads. <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm going to flip my tree trunk over. We're going to go in the opposite direction here. I'm going to flip it over again. So I'm just flipping it back and forth so that the... The tree trunk is kind of curved, and I don't want all the curves to go in one direction, so I'm just flipping it back and forth as I stamp, just to get a different kind of texture going here. So, how's everybody's weekend going? I love this stamp set. It's so... I bought it originally because I was like, oh, the kids would love this, the kids would love it, but I think I've made more cards for my adult friends with this stamp set than I have um, for my kids. So, and adults love this stamp set. Don't think of this as a kid's stamp set because adults love this stamp set. Um, oh man, I <laughs> just dipped my fingers in my ink pad again. It's like my first time stamping, guys, so. And I'm gonna have to get a baby wipe and clean my hands because we're getting a real red ink everywhere. I move, move my mat up a little bit. Okay. I think we have two more to go here. Maybe one more. I think that's it. So isn't that a really, isn't that a, such a fun little texture for your background? That's so cool. I love that. Okay. I'm going to leave some grid paper out. I'm going to put one piece away. We're going to set this piece off to the side. We're done with that one for now. Let me put the red ink aside before we make an even bigger disaster. Okay, we're going to take this little leaf stamp set, and I'm going to stamp my my scallop rectangle, and I'm going to use Coastal Cabana ink for this. So we're kind of just making lots of our own little patterns, lots of our own DSPs. So, so demonstrators are going to be able to pre-order, and you'll see I'm turning the leaf in different directions because... Um, I want, them, I want them to look different. I don't want them all to be going the same direction. Okay, so demonstrators can pre-order on Tuesday. I am so excited. I really feel like I need some new stuff. So when the retired list comes out, I generally pull all of my retired products. And so they are all sitting in a box right now on my craft room floor. Um, just waiting for me to kind of go through them. Oh, <laughs> look at my hands. I am getting red ink everywhere. Guys, we're gonna try to cover that up. I'm gonna have to clean off my hands. How did I get red ink all over this hand? Oh my word, you guys, I am a hot mess today. 
Um, but I am so excited about the, the new catalog. I think we are all just ready for something new. I'm being lazy. Crystal, I, I am being lazy too. Don't get me wrong. Let me, I gotta get a baby wipe. How I got red ink everywhere is beyond me. It's like, it's like all over my hands, you guys. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, maybe I'm not a morning stamper. I thought I was. Maybe I'm not. All right. I think that's good enough. Well, we hope. Okay. I'm going to set that aside. Isn't that cute though? With just that leaf. This leaf is so much fun. You can use this leaf for so many things. Okay. Let me put this one off to the side, this stamp set or that stamp. Okay. Let's stamp our dinosaur. We're going to use a little T-Rex. I'm going to use my Coastal Cabana ink again. And I think after this I can close. Oh, no, I can't. I'm going to stamp the inside of our card. There's a lot of stamping on this card, you guys. But that's okay. We got the time, right? All right. I'm inking up my dinosaur. Now, this stamp set, let me pull out the stamp pick set again. It's supposed to look kind of watercolored and kind of um, like hand-drawn like that. So when you stamp it, you may not get a super clean, crisp image. And it's supposed to look like that, so... Don't. And my dinosaur, I know he looks purple, but that's only because he's stained pink. <laughs> we just put him in blue ink, so. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. I, I am so in love with this little dinosaur. Okay, now we are going to take, here it is. We're going to take his little spiny, his little spikes. I don't know what you call that on a dinosaur. I am not a paleontologist. And we're just going to stamp that off to the side right here. Okay, we're going to die cut them separately and then we're going to attach them together. If you weren't die cutting it, you could just line it right up and stamp it right against him. But since we're going to die cut them, I'm going to stamp them separately. Okay, are we done with the red? Yes, I'm going to put the red away. All right, I got to get my chamois out because we got to clean some of these. Probably we should clean them all based on how things are going. If you don't have the chamois, you need a chamois. This is my favorite stamp cleaner. You just wet the, you just wet this with water and you just rinse it out when it gets dirty. I throw mine in the, the washer once a week, usually either with um, towels or with my kids clothes or something. Don't put it in the dryer, but just put it in the washer. I will need the stamp set or that stamp. Um, but it just, it stains, but it'll clean your stamps. I just want to get this Coastal Cabana off my block here. Okay, perfect. All right, we're gonna stamp on this piece on the inside of the card. Now we're gonna make this little tree. So let me pull out that piece. This piece, yeah, that's that piece I need to stamp on too. All right, so we're gonna stamp our tree trunk and I'm going to do that in Coastal Cabana. So we're gonna make a really fun little funky tree here. And I'm just gonna stamp that like at the bottom right-ish. Just stamp it down, it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. And then I'm going to pull out some gray granite. And I think we're the, we are done with our Coastal Cabana, so I'm going to put this one away. Pull out the gray granite. I'm going to use those leaves again, and we're going to we're going to make our little palm tree. So I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to stamp it once, and then I'm going to stamp it again. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to stamp it and stamp it again. And then we're going to do that. We're going to do that again. We're just going to stamp it and then stamp it off. And by stamping it off like this, we're just giving lots of Lots of really fun textures and I'm going to stamp this one off. All right. Lots of really like light and dark textures on our tree. So really fun. And that just adds a little bit of something to the inside of your card. Oh, I need that gray granite out. All right. Let me put that aside. We're going to stamp our greeting. I have another little tiny scrap piece of white. We're going to end up trimming this out. So I'm not worried about the size of it. So just whatever scraps you have. I love you this much. It's more than it looks. So cute. All right. And then for our, oh, I need that still. Holy cow. Hot mess. So I'm going to use these little, these little dots that are in the, the stamp set. And we're going to stamp the bottom of this white piece. And that's going to give our dinosaur somewhere to stand just so he's not um, kind of hovering in the air so he's got some little ground to stand on and I need to clean this because I just realized I need to stamp my my dinosaur's belly in Coastal Cabana with those little dots too. I'm going to give him some scales, give our dinosaur some scales so I need to bring him back in, bring in our scales here or our little dots whatever you want to call it and just stamp his little belly. Isn't that cute? He's so cute. 
I love him. Okay, that I think is all of the stamping. Okay, we are going to do some die cutting now. So let me move everything out of the way. Normally I die cut everything ahead of time, but I figured, you know, it's a Sunday morning. We all got a little bit extra time. So I'm going to do it on camera. So we pull in my, my die cutting machine. And I don't know if you guys heard, but there is a new one coming in the annual catalog. Now it won't be available for purchase when the annual catalog goes live, but I'm hoping it will be very, very soon after. I'm hoping. It's going to be pretty phenomenal. I can't wait. Can you guys see how bad my plates are? I need a new, I need a new one. Okay. So I'm using some washi tape just to hold my, hold my dies down. So I don't have to worry about my magnet trying to fight me or do all that. So I'm just lining up my my dies using some washi tape. You can see how bad my dies are. You can't even see those dies now. My plates are so bad. I'm ready. Ready for a new machine. Okay. So here is our here's our little spines. Aren't they cute? And you'll see that that die cut out a little bit of extra room, and that allows you to glue on your your um your little spine spikes. I don't know what they're called. I don't know. Somebody who is more knowledgeable in dinosaurs will have to comment that. Okay, so let's glue him together. I'm gonna use some of my green glue. You could use glue dots or um, whatever you want to adhere this. I'm just gonna use a little bit. Remember this green glue is very strong. A little goes a long way. And you'll see that there's a little gap between those first four little spines. And that's where his arm goes. So if you just line up his arm to go right in that little gap, then you'll line him up perfectly every single time. Isn't he so cute? Aren't these colors so fun together? I love that. Okay, we're going to set him off to the side. We're going to let him finish drying. And we're going to keep going with assembling our card. Let's cut out our greeting. I'm going to use my little mini trimmer. Remember, this was available for... Um, People who signed up during celebration. It's no longer available, unfortunately. But I'm hoping. Maybe. If we're good, the Stampin' Gods will smile on us and they'll put it for purchase. That would be fantastic. Because it is so handy. If you don't have it, if you don't have a little mini trimmer, you really need one. It's so handy. Okay, let's bring out our card base. We're going to start by gluing in that Coastal Cabana piece right on the inside of our card. And I'm using snail. And you guys, I think that the snail refills have sold out. You guys um, might have saw that snail and the snail refills were on the retired list. But don't worry, we have another adhesive coming in the new catalog. And as far as I know, that will be available for purchase when the catalog goes live on June 3rd. So hang in there. We have lots of other adhesive options if you run out of snail in the meantime. Okay, I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Now with a Z-fold card, the most important thing to remember is when you are gluing stuff to the front, you do not want to put adhesive on the whole thing. Otherwise, you will glue your card shut. So I am only going to put, I'm going to put some dimensionals only on the red part where my um, little stitched rectangle is going to go. Because if I put it all over the back of my rectangle, I would end up gluing my card shut. So I'm only going to put it where that rectangle is going to go on my red part. And now your card will open. Isn't that cute? I love Z-fold cards. They are probably one of the simplest um, fun fold cards you can do, but everybody loves them. We're going to stick our greeting up here in the top. I didn't want to cover up our dinosaur. My original plan was to put it like across him, but I didn't want to cover up our dinosaur because he was so cute. Here we're going to glue our little stitched white circle to our real red, real red circle. That's hard to say. All right, now we're going to put some dimensionals on this. And I am, again, because a lot of dimensionals, because this is going to overhang a little bit, I want to be cautious not to overdo it over on the right side. So let's see. So we're going to stick to that's enough. I have a dimensional problem. I use far too many dimensionals. We're going to stick this on. We're going to let that red circle overhang a little bit. Oh my goodness, his ground is like, he's like going uphill for sure. Just 
looks like that. Isn't he cute? Okay, we're going to attach our dinosaur with dimensionals now. This card has a lot of a lot of pop on him. I, I just, this Dino Days stamp set is definitely one of my favorites. And I just love how easily it's designed with those spines and how they give you that extra tab to glue it on there. I just think it was so fantastically designed. It just makes it easy. And the kids have used this stamp set to make cards for their friends or, or whoever they want to make cards for. So isn't that cute? You have your little tree inside. Oh, so cute. But wait, we're not done. So I have the real red stitched double stitch satin ribbon. This is in the um, January through June mini catalog. And I believe that this is carrying over. I didn't pull it off of my retired, off my ribbon rack. So I'm pretty sure it must be carrying over. And I've, I've cut it in half. What I did, I wanted a smaller bow. I didn't want a really big thick bow. So I actually cut it in half and I cut, I tied half of it on this one. And then I tied a bow with the other half of it. And so we're gonna stick that on with a glue dot. If you guys are following my glue dot saga, you'll know that I don't know where my roll of glue dots is. I'm pretty sure my cat took them, but you know, I have no proof. So we're just gonna stick a glue dot on there. So these are from Paper Pumpkin. Thank goodness Paper Pumpkin always gives us glue dots. Because otherwise I would have none. Now I could always order more, but I never really remember it. And I'm tucking that bow like right under that real red circle. So just the bow part sticks out. Isn't that so cute? I love that. Let me get my ribbon scissors. I want to trim these ends a little bit. They're a little long. When you cut your ribbon in half, sometimes you get little like frilly things that come off the edge. And I, I love that for this card. I think it makes it look very like organic. All right, one more little final touch for this card my ribbon scissors away we are going to use some red rhinestones and I'm gonna use five of them so we're just gonna kind of scatter them around one two I think the red rhinestones kind of make it look like maybe volcanic action going on or something they're very cute and then one more down here so isn't that cute I love this card it's so much fun there's lots of stamping but the stamping is all very, very easy. I know you can do it, but isn't it fun? And remember, if you want this Dino Days bundle, get it while it's still bundle priced right now. Once the new catalog goes live, it will not be available as a bundle, which means you won't save that money. So if you need to order any supplies, please head to my online store. If you're interested in any of the classes that I talked about at the beginning, um, please check out those links in the video description. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And um, I will see you guys again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.